Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you all of the books that I plan on reading in the month of February. It's kind of an ambitious TBR because I do have a lot of ARCs that come out in February that I want to read. And then also, since it is Black History Month here in the United States, I wanted to read a bunch of Black authors who are on my TBR. So it's kind of a lot. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to try my best. But first, I'm really excited. I kind of talked about this in my 2019 goals video, but I mentioned the idea of maybe doing a book club and the response that I got was so overwhelming. A lot of people seemed really into it, so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Basically, what the book club is, it's a super chill, low-key book club. I'm not even gonna give it a name. It's just called book club. Every month, I'm gonna choose a book. Eventually, I may open it up to a poll, but for now, I'm just gonna choose the books. During that month, I'm gonna read the book and film a spoilery vlog of me reading the book, and at the end of the month, I will post that vlog. And if you guys decided to read it with me that month, or if you've already read the book, you can come watch that vlog and and we can discuss it in the comments and it should be a lot of fun. Just to give you an idea of some of the books that I will be choosing for the book club, they will most likely always be fantasy or sci-fi, but I can't say for sure because I think I have a really wide taste in books and obviously I'm going to be choosing books that I like. I don't think I will be choosing any YA books. I kind of want to focus on adult books and also I will be choosing backlist books so there will be no new releases. I really want to make sure that the books are ones that are widely accessible. So they will be backlist books and they will also be ones that are available on multiple formats. So physical copies, ebooks, audiobooks. I want to make sure people are able to get it in whatever format they like. Also, I will be trying to make sure I'm picking books that are available on places like Hoopla and Scribd and Overdrive. All that being said, the book that I've chosen to read in February is, drum roll, I chose is An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. This is by a black author, so if you are looking for a black author to read during Black History Month, there you go. But this is a sci-fi book about a girl named Esther who lives on the lower decks of this space shuttle called the HSS Matilda, which is organized much like the Antebellum South. And for many generations, the spacecraft Matilda has carried the last of humanity to this mythical promised land. But on the way there, the ship's leaders have imposed harsh moral restrictions on the darker skinned inhabitants and Aster is ready to overthrow the leaders and try to bring justice to her people. I started reading this when I first got it and I think I got like a hundred pages into it and I was really loving it but I started reading it around the time that I moved and so pretty much everything that I was reading at that time I just dropped and then never picked up again but from what I remember I was really enjoying this and also the main character is queer I'm not 100% sure where under the umbrella she falls but I know she's somewhere in there a couple notes the ebook is available on Scribd and the audiobook and ebook are available on Hoopla so if you wanted to get it at either of those places. I'm excited. Definitely let me know in the comments if you're gonna read this with me. Also, if you wanna keep up to date with book club news, I will always be announcing what it is in my TBR, but I will also create a Instagram highlight where I post news about it. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Okay, so then for the other books I will be reading this month, normally right now this would be when I pick out of my TBR jar, but instead I decided just to grab the books off of my TBR stack that are by black authors. So the two from there are the Black God's Drums by P. DeJelly Clark. And this is like an alternate history steampunk that takes place in New Orleans about this girl who has the spirit of an Orisha god inside of her. And it sounds really cool. Every time I see this cover, I'm like, holy crap, girl, tell me what highlighter you're wearing because she is glowing for the gods. The other book that I pulled off of my TBR jar stack is Pray of Gods by Nikki Drayden. This is another book I've been meaning to read for so long. I've put it on numerous TBRs and hopefully now is the, the final time this will be on a TBR. <laughs> but basically this is a sci-fi book that takes place in South Africa. In this world, a new hallucinogenic drug is sweeping the country and there's also an 
an AI uprising, as well as an ancient demigoddess hellbent on reigning her former status by preying on the blood and sweat of every human she encounters. I feel like there's a lot going on in this book and I don't fully understand the synopsis, but it sounds really cool. Then also I am going to be reading How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. This is a collection of short stories. N.K. Jemisin wrote my all-time favorite book, The Fifth Season, so I'm really excited to read this collection from her. So then I will also be reading Once Ghosted, Twice Shy by Alyssa Cole. This is a novella in the Reluctance Roy Reluctant Royals series. It features a female, female, romance that I'm really excited about. And then the last two books by Black authors that I will be reading I don't own yet. One of them I pre-ordered and I'm really excited to get it soon. It comes out I think on the 5th of February and that is Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. I literally know nothing about the plot of this book except for it is a fantasy inspired by African mythology. It's been getting so much buzz and yeah I'm really excited to read that one. And then the other book that I will be reading is The Changeling by Victor Lavelle. I also don't know anything about this book. I read a novella by Victor Lavelle and I really loved it so I'm excited to read a novel by him. And also also, this book, I think it was Emily from Possibly Literate who talked about this, and I just remember ever since I heard her talk about it, I've had it on my TBR. Those are all the books by black authors that I will be reading. Then, for the arcs that I will be reading, these all come out in February. The first one is The City in the Middle of the Night by Charlie Jane Anders. This is a sci-fi book that takes place on a planet that is divided by frozen darkness and blazing sunlight. And the main character, Sophie, is a student and reluctant revolutionary who is exiled, and she should have not been able to survive the night. But she survives by forming a bond with the beasts who roam the ice. And yeah, that's all I know about this. I'm really excited for it. It sounds cool, and I don't know 100% but I think there may be a female-female relationship in here. This is something that bothers me a lot, and it's totally a topic for another video. It is so hard to find if books have female-female relationships. I probably read like 20 Goodreads reviews for this book, and people were very coded in the way that they described certain things that leads me to believe there's a female-female relationship, but I could be wrong. But you best believe I will let you know. Another book that most likely has a female-female relationship is The Afterward by E.K. Johnson. This is a YA fantasy. I've seen this book being kind of described as like what happens after the Harry Potter epilogue. These heroes went on a huge quest to defeat the evil and they succeeded. They won. Now they're back home and they're trying to like settle back into life. So one of the main characters is a thief and now that she's like a famous hero she's too recognizable to continue being a thief and the other main character has to find a husband so her bride price can pay for the night training she did before the quest and i think there's a female female relationship because it does say the pickpocket and the night in training have become much more than just fellow travelers which again it's like coded language where you're not entirely sure which is kind of annoying but like okay and then also it Turns out maybe they didn't save the world. So <laughs> there we go. That's the afterword. Next one is Last of Her Name by Jessica Corey. This one is supposedly like Anastasia meets Star Wars. Do I need to say anything else about it? I don't think so. Then we have The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenas. In 1967, four female scientists worked together to invent time travel. And then 50 years later, time travel is a big business, but when a message from the future predicts a violent death, young Ruby suspects her grandmother, one of the original time travelers, may be in danger. This sounds really cool. It says it's like Naomi Alderman's The Power meets Hidden Figures, which awesome comps. And and then the last book is The Monster, Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. This is a fantasy book that is supposedly like the next Game of Thrones, so take that how you will. <laughs> and from what I know, it's basically like a story within a story. The main character is in prison and they're telling the story of how they got there, I think. And there's dragons. That's what I know about it. Those are all the books I will hopefully be reading in February. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!